Hey everybody, Emerald Dragon's the name and Night Sky is the game. So no messing about, let's just get back into it and we are going to continue on with the old ruins. Let's see how we go in here, shall we? Okay, we've got slow power and fast power, so speed it up and on we go. The great thing about this game is that um, some parts aren't too difficult, but some parts, if you're not careful, will just really throw you for a loop. So at times, you're just kind of sitting there wondering what's going to happen. How How is it going to work? How am I going to get by this, or how am I going to get by that? And it can be pretty nerve-wracking, but... If you just give things a go, you can usually get by them easy enough. You don't want to get stuck like that, though. You can't get by everything that simple. Now, this is an interesting little thing. You've got to go nice and slow onto this and let it drop you down good and slow and then fire yourself off only I didn't do it quick enough there so let's have another try at that and see how we do and it's starting to move so on you go and out the other side Now, it, it can be kind of difficult to do commentary for a game like this because there's not really too much you can talk about. I mean, some of the puzzles are a bit difficult and some are simple enough. And I ran too fast there, so i got to start over. Yeah, this is one of the ones that's a little on the easy side but just can be a bit awkward from time to time. You just gotta sit on the cart until it gets down. You gotta go up and over and wait for the cart to get part of the way across before you knock this down. And then just push it up into that little gap so you can get over at the very end. Press W and S to select a different block. So as you can see, there's three different wheels up there, and we can drop any one of them we want. Let's see what's over here first. We have a hammer, a wheel, and a random block of wood. Okay. Let's see if we can figure this one out. And I think I've got it. You drop this one here, and it'll drop into that groove, and this one here will drop into the groove on the next level and if you drop this final one it'll drop into the groove over here that is currently blocking me from getting onto the next screen and over we go now this block of wood does not seem to be in any way helpful so I'll drop this I'll hit it with this. And that did not seem to hit it hard enough. Either that or it's just going awfully slow because my computer is being a bit strange. No, it's just awful slow. And dropping this isn't going to help too much. I'll just start over. See if I can hit it just a little bit better. In fact, I'll start with this screen in here before I clear the other one. There we go. And it'll drop down there and fill in that little gap. So we'll come back to that in a minute. We'll drop that. Drop that. And finally, drop the last one and move on. So 
So I found that um, when I recorded the last set, when I rendered it out, it um, it just didn't look right, and it, that was confirmed when I was chatting to another Let's Player. I don't know how many people watch videos by Eterna, but uh, he was the one that gave me a bit of advice on fixing it, so I'm going to render it slightly lower now. So here we drop some blocks on here and roll off the edge before it tips over and we die. So yeah, he um, gave me a bit of advice and I'm going to try and render things out in a slightly lower quality just because it won't look as pixelated and rubbish as it did before. So we'll see how that goes and hopefully after a few tweaks with my microphone the sound for me will be a little better as well. Ah, uh, this one is a little interesting. We gotta get oh we got okay we gotta start over and hopefully we can do it in time. We need to get up through here so that we can get up onto this upper area. And we'll just wait for this little windmill to come back around. There we go. And now when it finishes its rotation, we'll be able to push off onto the other edge and get on out of here. Now that wasn't too difficult, but unfortunately we'll be coming across that a bit more often as we move on. Now this is kind of fun. Being bounced around by these little windmills. It's a nice little touch. Nice and simple. Now, here we go. This is where it might get difficult. Because it's very easy to just fly right through like that. And it seems like I'm just being a bit too greedy with it. I gotta give it a moment. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gave it too much of a moment there. Well, maybe a uh, fourth or fifth or sixth time, depending. Might be the charm. We'll, we'll see how we go. We'll get through it. it. It's not the end of the world. And there we go, and we just slowly roll off onto this side and wait for it to complete its rotation. So you see, some screens like that are, are kind of tricky. I mean, they're not really difficult, but if you're not careful, you can make some stupid moves and just get yourself into a little trouble. Now, like the other vehicle earlier, if you go towards the right, you go backwards, and if you go towards the left, you go forwards. Only it bounces around really feckin' crazy like. It can make some interesting flips if you do it right. Now, with this, you're best off to speed along and then hit the brakes as quick as you can so that you can stay on the blocks. And there you go, past the giant chisel. And out the other side. And in this level, we've got a tiny little maze to get through. And to help us get through it, we have our gravity bending powers. And that was a very simple maze indeed. And on to the next screen. Um, 
so yeah one of the complaints well not a really not really a complaint but more of a piece of constructive criticism about my last set was that I really struggled to figure out what to talk about and it's easy enough to get lost in all of this trying to figure out what's the right way to talk about what's on screen but sometimes there just isn't too much going on and I used to wonder why some Let's Players just seem to talk a load of nonsense but when you're actually sitting there trying to do it, it, it can be very difficult to figure out how to go about saying this or doing this or whatever so if you've ever said anything like that to a Let's Player and you're you know, you, you should probably apologize for it. Now, what do we do here? We have three wheels and a piece of wood. That'll drop into nothing. And that was stupid. So that'll drop into nothing. That bottom one will drop off the edge and this one will drop into nothing. So... Oh. That was stupid again. I gotta really watch what I'm, what I'm uh, pressing here. So okay, we'll drop the wood. Uh, we'll drop this one. Uh, that works. We'll drop. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, so we'll drop this one first. This one second. Nope. Try again. So we drop this one here. Okay, I think I've got this figured out now. I drop this one. Then this one and this one. And I should be able to just shoot across. And there we go. That screen is done.